Firstly, you want to make sure you've signed up and created an account. Once that's done, you'll receive a confirmation email. Just make sure you head to your email and follow the link showcased in there to verify the account. Once that is verified, you'll be prompted to create a server. All you have to do is select the server option. If you're not sure which server plan you want to go for, weigh out your options by comparing plans. Select the location last, make sure the area selected is closest to you as this will get you better ping. Once you're done, you can select the host name and then create the server. After a few seconds, you'll have the server all generated. What you do then is head into your VPS and create a service. Select the game you want here at the top and then the type. You can then select the version of the game and press create service. After the service generation is complete, you can then create more services if you'd like, but make note of the RAM on the plan you selected as too many can bottleneck the VPS and slow it down. Now to join, copy your hostname at the very top and then head into your game. Once it's open, paste the hostname in the appropriate section and enter. As you can see, the connection is smooth and fast. For the basics, such as setting yourself as an operator, you can easily do that by heading to the Operators tab on the left of the panel and entering your username. You'll see in game that you're made operator instantly. Under the same panel, you can adjust your whitelist, enabling it and adding usernames, and you can also ban and IP ban players. If at any point you want to add plugins, you can switch your server type and configuration and save and restart. Make sure you never downgrade versions, however, as this will cause unretrievable world damage. Installing plugins is ever so easy with that panel as you just have to click browse, scroll through the countless plugins plugins and then click install latest on the one you desire. To install plugins or mods manually, head to files and then plugins or mods and drag the file in there. When making any changes, ensure you restart the server for them to take effect. 